right, my friends, this is the ultimate eGPU test. Over here, come on, I've got a Razer Core X. Now, what I've done is I've unplugged the fan. So the fan's not actually plugged in, the fan's off. And there's no GPU plugged in, yeah? And over here, it's a modified OWC Mercury Helos. Now, the reason why it's modified is that the GPU doesn't fit out of the box, so I had to break it open a little bit. I've also unplugged its fan because, you know, I don't need a fan for this GPU because this GPU is quiet AF. Look, it's, its fans aren't even on because it's, it's so quiet. It's got a big, fat, juicy heat sink. Now, I want you to listen closely. Now, come along and hear this area. Now, what I've done is I've plugged both these GPU units on the Mac, so they're both on, yeah? Mm -hmm. They're both on. This one actually has a GPU plugged in, yeah? This one doesn't have a GPU plugged in. Your brain's probably thinking that the noise must be coming from this unit, right? Because the graphics card's plugged in, but let me tell you something. Come over here. Whoa. What's that thing? The noise is completely gone. This Razer Core X PSU, the power supply in the Razer Core X, is just a, a smidge. Okay, it's, it's not crazy noise, but it's too noisy to have too close to your MacBook. Like if you're using a half a meter Thunderbolt free cable for the maximum performance, two meters just slow, makes it slightly slower, but for maximum performance, it's gonna be slightly too noisy. But as you can see, come on. Can you hear any noise coming out of this guy? Can you hear any noise? So if you want to get some noise happening, all I do is... There you go. The ultimate eGPU enclosure, I have to give it to... Actually, you know what? You're voiding the warranty if you modify that box. If you're willing to not get the Vega 64, if, if you're willing to get an RX 580 or an RX 590, then... Get yourself an OWC Mercury Helios 650 because that guy is quiet. You can even unplug the fan, extra quietness. Of course, make sure your system is stable and you're in a quiet environment. But if you're getting a big, fat, juicy GPU, then you're gonna need slightly bigger box. And in which case the Razer Core X, it's so easy, so nice to plug in and so easy to use. But of course, if you're an advanced user and a bit crazy person like me, then I gotta say the OWC Helios with the modified box is the best eGPU enclosure to get. I'm gonna get a, a, a proper automatic saw and I'm gonna saw the rest of it off and I'm gonna make it look nice and sexy. But yeah, there is a definite noise improvement to be done by switching over to this Helios 650FX. Right, that was it. The ultimate eGPU for 2019 requires a bit of a DIY. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna do here? My friends, this is the OWC Helios 650FX and I love this eGPU because it has a near silent fan. The problem is, however, I've got myself one of these meaty, awesome, massive, gorgeous graphics cards and unfortunately, it just, just ever so slightly, look at that, ever so slightly doesn't fit. So, I'm gonna mod this case. I've already taken off the front, the front panel. That was easy, you just pull it right off. But I'm gonna do something which I don't recommend you doing at home. I'm gonna just saw off a bit of the front and see if I can put this GPU inside this eGPU because this is a massive, the nice 650 watt power supply, so it should just work. And I've checked, there's no electronics on this side and I've already unplugged the fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do. So I've got a Trojan Junior 150 millimeter saw and I need to flip the blade. It's like DIY class back in school, isn't it? Now, before you ask, yes, I did try removing these screws myself. However, they're just circular. I think they were machined this way. So I've tried 
hammering, hammering them from the bottom. And nothing, is that something coming out? No, nothing's coming out. I tried using a screwdriver, I tried using a pliers, and I've tried using Allen keys, but unfortunately I couldn't get it done, so I'm gonna mod the box. All right, let's do it. my first cut look at that it's a nice nice straight cut just you always need to be slightly a bit more careful when handling with sharp tools like this but this is a nice steel blade and we've got our cut through it's gonna widen out hopefully I'm not waking up the neighbors So we made it through, got our first cut. So I reckon I'll cut it probably to around here. What's your thinking with this and what are you gonna do? So you're gonna make two holes like that and like that, then what's gonna happen? Okay, three holes. Oh, that's what you're gonna do? That'll be enough? Yeah, I think so. Look at this and bend it back. All right, so let's see if the GPU will fit before we cut it right off. Hmm. You're gonna have to do this on the other side. Yeah, it's uh, I think we just need to take off this whole back panel. It just needs to go. What, what do we do now? We want to get rid of this whole back plate, right? Mm. So we need to get rid of this screw and this screw. There, there we go. go. Alright. We made some progress. We got rid of this screw finally. So I'm just going to bend this all in all. Um, that should be enough, right? I mm. think that should be enough. Okay. Should be fine. Yep, okay. It's blown away all the little particles. Metal, I wanna see right now is can the GPU fit in with this modified <laughs> enclosure? I think you're gonna hate how it looks. <laughs> well, we can, I, I reckon I'm gonna get an um, automatic saw and just clean the job right up, but I just wanna see. Put it like that. Put that slot in. Put it in the hole over there. Slot in the back like that. Boom shakalaka. We're done. It's tied in. Slotted it in. All right, we got it connected. I'm just gonna screw these guys in and test it out. We have managed to fit in the Asus ROG Strix. Vega 64 <laughs> in the OWC case. Now, do you think it'll work? I think it'll work because we just modded the case. But uh, let's plug it in and try it out and let's see if it will be worth our while or if there'll be explosions and unsatisfied hackness. All right. Uh, this is the Razer Core X. I'm just gonna swap that guy out because the fan on Razer it's not super noisy, but it's slightly too noisy for me, especially with this really quiet GPU. So now I've got it with the OWC Helios 650. And we're gonna see if it works. Let's put the Thunderbolt cable in and turn it on. All right. 
All right, you ready? Can you hear anything? It's so quiet. That's really nice. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that is really cool. I can't, I can't, it's uh, you can barely hear it. Okay, I know you think we're mad people, but it's working, it's fine. The case is a bit bust up. <laughs> But I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go to the local Bunnings. I'm going to get an automatic saw. And I'm just going to saw this top bit off and saw the back off. Because this noise level is beautiful. I can have the GPU just like, like that. Just looking at me, looking gorgeous, looking beautiful. So I'm going to saw the rest of the case off. And I'm going to have this as kind of like a showpiece. Anyway, yeah, if you're thinking about getting the best eGPU, i got to say it does require a little bit of manual labor. But... I got right here the Helios 650, where is it? The Mercury Helios 650, and I've got it running with a big, fat, junky, chunky, quiet, fanless, fanless, because the fans don't spin solution. Hope you enjoyed that show. I'm glad it worked out in the end. And uh, now it's time to get some gaming. <clears throat> That's good, it's good. It's what, it actually works. Can you believe that? Mm. Yeah, you, you shocked, you're shocked, isn't it? The camera lady's shocked. <laughs> that looks, it doesn't look as good. Because uh, the, ca the case, just get rid of the case. Look at that. Modded GPU box. It's a shame it just couldn't fit out of the box. That's how it works. I can't believe it actually worked, though. And it's quieter, isn't it? Mm. That is awesome. You're awesome. I'm here. I helped him. I helped him. <laughs> oh, you got credit. Hey, guys. See, behind every man is a woman who tells him what to do and gives him the answers. <laughs>